Hi, welcome to The Restaurant Show. I'm Justin Riley, your host, and I hope you stick with us today because we've got a great show with some great local food. We'll be joined by Granite City Food and Brewery, as well as The Egg and I, and Chef Peter Lidstrom will join us from Tuscany Grill. It's all coming up right here on The Restaurant Show, where we stop by the best restaurants in town so you can skip the rest and enjoy the best. We'll tell you where to eat right here on The Restaurant Show. Welcome back to The Restaurant Show. If you have never been to the Tuscany Grill over in the Wyndham Garden Hotel in Fitchburg, then you are missing out because with me now is head chef Peter Lidstrom. Welcome. Thank you so very much. So we are making, I want to be able to say this today, we are making prosciutto wrapped pork tenderloin with a cognac pear cream sauce. Yes. A mouthful to say and a mouthful to eat, yes, I'm sure. So let's is. get started. What is the yes. first thing we do? First thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this pork tunnel I have here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to cut three pieces. So okay. we got three medallions. Mm -hmm. Three medallions, okay. Three medallions. And uh, is there a certain thickness that you want to keep well, it at typically? If you do them like well, this, I'm going to say about half an inch. Inch to half an inch to an inch, maybe yeah. something like that. And then okay. if you cut them, that's it. You can probably finish them in the pan. Otherwise, you have to finish them off in the oven. Okay. All right. And, and this is the prosciutto. This right? is prosciutto. Okay. We cut it so they will fit around. Oh, you're literally just wrapping it around. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Got it. So um, the prosciutto, I've always wondered because I'm, you know, I, I'm not as much of a foodie as you might think I am. But uh, prosciutto, where does that come from? Particular. What part of the animal is that coming from? This ham. It's prosciutto ham. It's just bacon. ham. That's it's bacon. it. The, the bacon part. Oh, okay. All right. It's yeah, just prepared it's differently. It's yeah. not necessarily cured like, like no. bacon is. Yeah. Got it. It's dry. Okay. Cured. Very good. Let's see. We'll wrap these up. Okay. The only problem I see now is I <laughs> forgot one thing. Uh oh. I forgot to take with. Um, now what is this that you're adding here? This is salt and pepper. Okay. You now we're going to sear these off in the pan where I have that hot over here. All right. And normally you said you forgot toothpicks. Normally you want to have toothpicks. Well, toothpicks to keep the prosciutto in, but this is going to be... Okay. Oh. Well, different. maybe it'll stay wrapped, maybe it won't. We'll oh. find out here today. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, talk to us a little bit about, uh, I mean, you're always updating your menu over there yes. at Tuscany. So talk to us about what's new uh, coming up this month at Tuscany. Uh, now this month, we have just started this menu just last week, and mm -hmm. it's like we have prosciutto wrap. Uh, Pork tenderloin, we have some Florentine steak, this uh, rosemary balsamic cured steak that we okay. cut up. We have duck breast, all right. rack of lamb, we have all lot of different stuff that's back on the menu. All right, all right. And yeah. this is making a return from last year then? Yeah, and then okay. a couple of new things. Okay, very good, very good. And talk to us a little bit about this cognac pear cream sauce. How is the that? The cognac pear cream sauce, it's, I can do that. I'm going to flip these over quick here. <clears throat> Because you have some a whole bunch of different sauces that you can offer. Yes, with we have this meal 16, and with other 16 different sauces that we can offer. Okay. And uh, we can pair them with anything you want, and we'll figure it out for you. Wow, oh. that's kind of like a build your own uh, dinner type of thing. Yes, exactly. You know, so you can kind of choose choose your meat, choose your sauce, yep. and then choose your starch as well. Yep. Right? Now right. we're gonna cut the pear here. That looks like it's a pretty mm. firm pear too. Yes. It's not super duper ripe. No. <clears throat> it's gonna be cooked off in cognac, so it's gonna be. Pretty soft when it's okay. Here. All right. So we got two burners going here today. Yes. And um, uh, Tuscany Grill, if you have not been there, is great for holiday parties. Wyndham Garden in general is great for holiday parties. Mm -hmm. uh, what sorts of things can you offer folks for uh, if they want to host a holiday party? We have room for uh, two to 250 people, the hotel and everything. So two we can to offer. 250. The menu can run from, we're going to have some cognac here. Okay. The beer. Let them simmer in here yeah. for a little while. <clears throat> um, and we have two different menus. We have the catering menu. If you want to eat in Tuscan, we eat from the Tuscan menu. We have mm -hmm. two different menus you can do. Yeah. So. But you pretty much will mix, you know, whatever somebody wants. Absolutely. I mean, if you, uh, as long as you, you're prepared and you have the ingredients yeah. and everything, you'll pretty much make whatever somebody wants yep. to. That's very exactly. cool. That's cool. Versatile this guy is yeah. here. So, <laughs> so well, this is the cognac, cognac in the frying pan. Yep. Okay. Now we're going to add a cream. All right. And is this just uh, heavy whipping cream? Heavy whipping cream, yep. Okay. Wow. Parsley, salt and pepper. <clears throat> and just turn this up. 
Seems just a little bit more involved than what you normally do here, but this is, I'm liking this. Yeah. Wow. Now, how long do you have to let that, did you have to let it uh, start bubbling? Is that kind of yep. what we're waiting for? I'm going to change this over here. Okay. All right. The hot pan. Sure. And typically, how long does it take to cook? I mean, it, do you need to take a temperature for well, uh, pork to know if it's done or not? You sh I mean, some people maybe should. Sure. Right. <laughs> it should be 100, 145 inside and it's done. 145. Or some people say 165, but 145 is good. Okay. So right. I'm going to put this down here. Okay. So the simmering is good. All right, awesome. And you have uh, gift certificates available also at Tuscany. Yes, we're going to start uh, doing the deficit. Like if you buy a $100 deficit, you get the $25 free. If you buy a 50, you get a $15 free. So if you get the free gift set with a big, big gift set, get a free one, a little free one. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. That's cool. So there's an incentive to buy some gift certificates. Yes, exactly. There. Great holiday gifts for those folks out there who are looking for that gift that keeps on giving, which yes. food. I mean, come on, what other gift uh, keeps on giving better than that? Yeah. Um, I also want to mention, just make a real quick mention about the uh, Thirsty Goat. You do some work over there. Uh, the Thirsty Goat is the same owner, mm -hmm. and it's right. like a smokehouse where they do the brisket, smoke right. brisket, smoke the, uh, uh, smoke everything. They smoke the wings, they smoke the, smoked. yeah, everything smoked. Okay. And uh, they just opened like three months ago, and yep. that's also a place where you can do parties and stuff, so. Yeah, so slightly different menu options there. Slightly still different. a great place to yeah. eat. So they've op been open for three months now. So yep. Check it out if you haven't already. Now what is this that you added? There is a little, what I love, Demi. That's the Demi Demi sauce. glaze, Demi add glaze. a little Demi to it. Okay. And now I'm gonna have some asparagus going here on the side. And also I have, down here in the magic oven, I have, we have sides, we do sides now for okay. dishes instead of before we do mashed potato or roasted baby sure. reds. Now we can also have risotto, or gratin potato, beans, rice, everything. Okay, so I'm mix gonna and match. Plate this now for you. All right, excellent. So we'll see here. I'm ready with a fork in hand here. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so this is the Magic this TV oven. This is the Magic TV oven. If you're oven. wondering where he is, he's in the Magic TV yes, oven. Yes, so. Magic TV oven. <laughs> here is the gratin potatoes. Okay. Oh, yeah. That's not the old gratin potatoes that I'm typically no, uh, familiar with. Is. Pork tenderloins. Okay. Let's see here. So those actually have the toothpicks in them. I've done toothpicks. These ones have. So don't <laughs> don't eat the toothpicks in the no. words here. <clears throat> That's okay. You can leave it in. I'm, I'll, I'll be careful. <laughs> I'll be careful. And so asparagus here. Oh, that adds a nice color to it, I suppose. Yes. And then, then oh, we gotta have this. We'll finish it off with the sauce on top here. Oh yeah, look at that. Well, I'm gonna be enjoying this while you are watching a commercial. So sorry for you out there, audience, but hey, Peter Lidstrom, thank you so much for coming thank you. today. Appreciate it, we always enjoy it. Head on down to the Tuscany Grill, great food, or Thirsty Goat for that matter. We'll be right back with more Restaurant Show right after the break. Thank you. The Egg and I is next right here on the Restaurant Show. Welcome back to the restaurant show. With me now is Stephen Dascom from The Egg and I. Steve, good to see you again. Great to see you too. What are you making for us today? Well, I have a treat. This is a carrot cake pancake. Ooh, okay. That? I've heard stories about this carrot yes. cake pancake. It's been a long time coming. <laughs> this is the myth uh, come true here. <laughs> <laughs> every week or every month when you come in here, you promise to bring that next time and it never comes. So here it is. Here finally. it is. I was going to do it last show. Right. And I uh, couldn't find my flat top because I recently <laughs> moved. Now this is going to be fun today. We're going to see if it works or not because I'm making a small one too. Okay. I forgot to bring this the is small. butter. This is supposed to be a not. Yes, this is really small. It's like a kid cake. Oh wow! <laughs> so how how big is it usually? Like the size of the whole. Sorry there. The whole um, uh, grill. It, it would be about. It would hang on, slightly hang off the edges of this plate. <laughs> right about that. That's a big pancake. <laughs> yeah. That's a big pancake. Now this is the carrot part. Oh wow! Okay. So we use. So it's not just the spices. You actually are putting stuff in here. This is. Uh, raisin, golden raisins, craisins, uh -huh. and um, car carrot. I'm trying to just like uh, melt in this glove. Yeah. Uh, that's actual carrots and pecans, pecans and sure. it, uh, it's all tossed with uh, pumpkin spice. Wow, all right, okay. So the, the, the pumpkin spice is in the batter or no? 
It's not in the batter. It's no. just in, it's what, just what, you in just what I would just put on here. Okay. And as soon as this sets up a little on the edges here, I'm sure. going to try and give it a flip. I might cook it a little longer than normal because I, I forgot to bring the butter part, so it's going to stick maybe a little bit. And I want to make sure I okay. get a good flip. We want on to that. make sure that we get a good flip. So while we're waiting on that, sure. What is this nifty little device you have over oh, here? Oh well, now this is a cool thing. Uh huh. Um, Salvation Army mm -hmm. is testing this. Uh, supposedly, there's only six of them in the city. They want us to give it a try. Okay. Um, and it, this, you're you're one of the six. One the of the Agen six, okay. right? Um, it's a donation center. Uh -huh. it, it's not working properly here because the studio doesn't have good cell phone reception. But it would say one dollar <laughs> on it. Right. And what you do is just stick your card in the slot. It will tell you to pull it out. Okay. And it's a dollar. It runs on the same network that um, ATMs use. Okay. So it's a you know secure, sure. encrypted network. Sure, okay. And it's an easy way to do a dollar, just in and out, there you go. Wow, and I think so many people now, I myself included, I don't carry a lot of cash on me usually, so I think that's a really nice nice thing to, to try. So, all right, we're gonna see how this turns <laughs> out. It looks like it's not sticking too bad right now. Yeah, but I think it's not quite done in the middle. Okay, so we gotta wait a little while yet. Yeah, a little okay. longer than normal. So, <clears throat> Winter Wonders, I'm looking at this thing here, and you've got some Winter Wonders. Talk a little bit about some of your winter features that you have going on. Sure, well, this was, again, this is what we were doing mm -hmm. during the last show, so mm -hmm. we're about halfway through it. Sure. Um, the cinnamon chip waffle that we made yep. last time. That was glorious. The, yeah. <laughs> the uh, carrot cake pancake. Right. Um, our holiday hash, which is going over really well. It's, oh, good. It's, it's similar almost to that harvest hash. It doesn't have the sweet potatoes in it. To me, it's more of a comfort food thing that people are just raving about. It's slightly different in that we have the tomato hollandaise with chipotle in it. Okay, all right. So it's, Very good. It's really Very good. And fresh, ju fresh juice, are you still juicing over there? We're still juicing and we're still running that bisque. Good, good. That's yeah. awesome. That's awesome. And uh, you, you brought something healthy with you today, and we're gonna hopefully take a take a look at that. There we go. I got a lift. Is this the flip? It. Is this the flip? Woo! It's look a little bit that. too dark, though. Look at that. Yeah. Well, Bummer. that's all right. That's all right. We'll yeah, sure I should have great. brought the butter. It would have been great. That's all right. I, I can smell it. It's just a little bit off. It's it's gonna taste good. I have a feeling it's gonna taste real good there. Sure. So. Yeah. Absolutely. So now you've been working with the Salvation Army for a, a little while oh, now. Gosh, they have yours. all their meetings over <laughs> at the Egg and I. Committee mm -hmm. meetings. And that's kind of how you got the this device over here. Sure. Well, I mean, they know how much traffic we have, and they, yeah. they know that it's uh, well, we donate a lot of money every year. Yeah. Absolutely, so, absolutely. Yeah. So, um, tell us a little bit about what's going on here. Why'd you bring in some healthy food here, Steve? Okay, first <laughs> off, yeah, I know, right? <laughs> this is not the agony. Yes, it is actually. It's the agony. We just put a splash. This is our lemon vinaigrette. That's actually probably too much. Okay. You just want to have a, a little splash, bit to talk. Right. You can ask for more too. Okay. Now these are a, a side that we uh, serve with many things. It's more of a it's a healthy suggestion. No matter what you're ordering, you can still have something healthy. This is uh, a side you know, dish. This would be, yeah. Okay. It's like, like uh, ranch potatoes used to come with everything. Now a lot of things come with this. Ranch potatoes are still available. Sure. Uh, the fresh fruit is still available if you mm -hmm. want to go that direction for healthy. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the yogurt, you know, you can do tomato slices. Okay. Now I'm going to just put this up here. I did, I really overdid it. I can see it and I can feel it. Wow. It didn't look but like you would get quite a bit, actually. It didn't look like you put that much on there, though. So yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't it's, take much, it's, obviously. It's, like a teaspoon or just a tiny sure. splash. All right. So there and, we go. Uh, you know, people are saying, "Oh, you're obviously trying to save money by doing this." These are way more expensive yeah. than the potatoes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, How's that pancake? Do we need to check that real quick? Yeah, we should probably give that one a check there. Yeah. Oh, gonna... hey, I think we're right there. Are we good? All right. Well, look at that. That's beautiful. That's perfect, right there. All right. So let's finish this off. <laughs> Just kind of, they all kind of sunk right into the pancake. Kind of, yeah, that's cool. it's, it's great how it does that. Now, a little, this is going to be. Now what is this? I need that? a place to tap this. Oh, okay. There you go. Get it into the bottom of the. This is the icing you would get on a carrot cake. Okay, all right. So. Icing on the pancake. Good icing on the pancake. You really don't need uh, syrup with this one. Okay, I trust you on that and one. And then some cinnamon butter. All right, and then you just kind of plop that on top. <laughs> yeah, normally this would be in a scoop. In the sure, sure, sure. All right. Well, fantastic. So, so you can have food that tastes good and food that's healthy, and there they can we both. Go. They can all taste good too. Can I try the the pancake <laughs> oh, you real quick betcha. here? All right. I'm gonna move this guy right over here, and we're gonna try the carrot cake pancake. I'm gonna get just a little bit of butter with that. Oh sure. That was more than a little, but we'll we'll go with that. 
Your second bite actually might be better because it's further in. Sure. <laughs> you know what I like about this? It still tastes like a pancake. It's not like mm -hmm. a carrot cake, you know, on the oh, grill. Oh, uh, yeah. It's, it yeah. still tastes like a pancake, but with the carrot, all the carrot cake in ingredients present. Mm. That is delicious. Well, what can I say? Head on down to the Egg and I for breakfast and lunch. While you're there, scan your card. Give the Salvation Army a dollar. Steve. One dollar. <laughs> so nice to have you with us again. Great. Don't go away. There's more restaurant show coming up after the break, so stick around. Up next on the restaurant show, Granite City Food and Brewery. Welcome back to the restaurant show. With me now is Matt Betchart from Granite City Food and Brewery. Matt, how are you? I'm doing great, thanks. How are you doing? I'm doing better now that you're here. <laughs> so I want to make sure that I say this right. We're making pork tenderloin scallopini with a balsamic beurre blanc sauce. That's correct, yes. So how do we do that? Let's get well, started. Uh, pretty simple uh, start here. We've got our nice pork tenderloin. Okay. Um, it's a little um, pork tenderloin that has been just pounded out sure. um, very nicely. Okay. I'm going to uh, start off actually uh, with some uh, oil in a pan. We're mm -hmm. going to get that nice and hot so we get a real good sear okay. on our um, pork. And then um, the pork, as you can see, is uh, nicely pounded out. It's unseasoned at this point, but okay. I have seasoned flour. So I put okay. some salt and pepper into our flour here. And um, we're just going to dredge it. Okay. Um, Salt and pepper, that's all it takes. Yeah, that's it. That's awesome. Um, you okay. know, real simple, uh, just give a little nice seasoning on there. Okay. And uh, I'm going to keep uh, just dredging these up here, and then we'll... Uh, and then you just um, throw them in the pan. Get them going in that nice okay. pan. Cool, cool. Here. And uh, you also have uh, mushroom risotto and uh, arborio rice. Tell us a little bit about those things. Well, yeah, risotto mm -hmm. um, is uh, classically made with arborio rice, which okay. is a little different um, rice than people are probably most familiar with, sure. which is that um, long grain white rice. Okay. Um, arborio rice is actually a short grain okay. um, Italian rice, and it does actually have Make sure my heat's all the way on there. There you go. <laughs> um, it does actually have a little more starch content um, than okay. your classic rice. Um, so that's kind of nice. It actually adds a, a little bit of a, a creamy texture to um, to this uh, risotto dish here. Okay. And um, of course, the, the risotto that we have today is mm -hmm. a mushroom risotto. Okay. And um, that we actually... Um, we had uh, dried porcini mushrooms that have been ground Ooh, up, right. and then uh, also uh, shiitake mushrooms. Okay, great. So that's kind of neat there. That um, tastes good. Some really nice, rich mushroom flavor, if yeah. you will. And yeah. uh, that'll complement um, this dish quite nicely. Excellent, excellent. And I think it's interesting to note that the beurre blanc is actually French for white butter. Yes, burr and blanc, so uh, yeah. we got a white butter and then we're gonna add the balsamic to that. Um, this sauce actually is really quite simple. Um, it's gonna be uh, sauteed shallots. Okay. Um, we add some white wine to it, reduce it down, which is gonna just concentrate that white wine flavor. Sure. And uh, then we're gonna finish it off um, with butter and just a touch of cream for it too. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> that sounds pretty good. Yes. Yeah, so you got some broccolini here, I see, as well. That's correct, that's correct. And uh, in fact, I'm gonna get that broccolini started in a, okay. in a pan here. We've Sounds good. Some, uh, and and tell us butter. about the beer that you brought with you today. Well, we bought, brought our um, Mr. Corporate is the name of the beer. Mr. It's, Corporate. It is a uh, Schwartz beer, okay. which is uh, German for black lager. Okay. Um, so classically, you think of lager as a, kind of a lighter, crisp, yeah. clean, and mild. And pretty much what we do to this beer is we are going to toast those ro and roast the barley and the malts. Okay. Um, and that's going to give it that nice dark color. Yeah. And then we'll add a little sweetness as we toast it. Okay. And um, uh, and then you know again it's going to have a little bit of uh, bittersweet flavor. Sure. And so that'll go real nice with our uh, our pork tenderloin. Dish okay. Here. Awesome. Awesome. Um, you know I noticed that it's, it's almost uh, two references to uh, the Spaceballs movie. You have Schwartz beer, <laughs> and it's Mr. Corporate. You remember the part where they were saying Mr. Coffee and Mr. Radar? Yep, yep I got you. You, so you there picked go. up on that, yeah. huh? Yeah, <laughs> I like that. Uh, that is good. Okay, that is good. so the broccolini is cooking here? Yeah, and we're just gonna lightly saute it. I actually um, blanched it um, at the restaurant, so okay. it's, it's got it's brought out its real nice bright color, green, and, uh, and then we're just gonna saute it light, lightly in, um, in uh, some garlic butter. Okay. Um, so. 
So uh, what do you guys have coming up for Christmas? You guys got some gift card specials. Yeah, yeah. one of the things we're really promoting is gift cards. You know, it's a great way to uh, give a nice present. And uh, for every $25, you get a $5 bonus card. So if okay. you're looking to give somebody a nice present, they can come into Granite City, enjoy okay. a great meal. Um, and then you can have a little bonus card back yourself. So you kind of get uh, buy a present for someone, get a little present for yourself. Oh, nice. And uh, so that's a real great promotion. Every $25, like I said, you get a $5 bonus card. Okay, is that $25 in gift cards? That's correct. Okay. Yep. Twenty-five dollars in gift cards gets you a free five-dollar bonus card. All right. right. So we're just going to get that plated I love there the quickly. The dark green color of that—that that is so cool. And Ooh, I'm going to get that. started on this uh, mushroom risotto here. Okay. And we've uh, partially cooked this again at the restaurant. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm going to add some uh, chicken stock here to it. Okay. Um, I'm sorry, vegetable stock. Vegetable actually. stock. You got it. And uh, what that's going to do is going to absorb into the rice. Mm -hmm. And then um, once we get that nicely absorbed into and you'll see the liquid will just start to uh, yeah. go in there and then we'll add uh, some butter and some Parmesan cheese to finish it. Okay. So our pork here is fully cooked and uh, at this point we're going to add that butter sauce that I mentioned. All right. And um, with this sauce, again, this is something that we made ahead of time. It's mm -hmm. just very important that it doesn't break because it's very um, rich sauce. I'm going to okay. add also to that some um, balsamic reduction. Okay. And when you say break, you don't want it to break, what does that mean? Uh, that means separate, actually. Okay. I guess that's uh, okay. a little uh, restaurant lingo That's a little there. restaurant lingo. I'm yeah. learning. I'm yeah. learning. Okay. So we'll just um, so you had, uh, all I mean, nicely we, coated. We were talking here. a little bit before the show started that you had a, a great turnout for your Thanksgiving. Yeah. Hey, we had a lot of people really uh, enjoy themselves. And again, people came from um, a lot of different areas, brought their families, and um, really enjoyed um, Thanksgiving. So good. Good. That's really, good to hear. Um, and then you, well, you're still doing your uh, your brunch from nine to two uh, every Sunday. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yep. Fantastic Sunday brunch. Uh, Car prime rib, made mm -hmm. to order omelets. We have a full brunch line as yeah. well, um, where you you know you can get all your eggs and sure. bacon and biscuits and gravy. Right. Um, we always have a number of chef entrees, including yeah. different pasta specials and sure. so forth. So that's a lot of fun um, and really a great value at sixteen ninety nine. Yeah. Um, one of the best in town there. So. Yeah. So all that. Uh, all that prime rib. Yeah, as much <laughs> as you can You can eat all do. prime rib if you want to. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to uh, finish up this uh, risotto here. Okay. And we're going to add some Parmesan cheese. Well, I'm ready with my and fork already, man. <laughs> <laughs> some cold butter. And the trick to this, if I can get it out of the pan yeah. there, is uh, this is going to add that nice creamy texture um, that is associated with the risotto. And so right. I'm just going to stir this around just until the butter Incorporates in, and I'm wondering, can I pour a can I pour a beer here? Hey, while that would that? be fantastic. Which uh, which one? The the, one that glass the... right there would be excellent. Perfect. Perfect. We'll go right here if we can. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Gotta love that sound, right? All right. So we'll plate our risotto while you're pouring that beer. Yeah. Look at that. And uh, we'll just finish up here with the uh, pork tenderloin. Oh wow. <clears throat> I'm going to take a quick bite here because we are out of time. I can't believe it. There you cook this fast, though. I mean, this is this yeah, take too much time. Yeah, it does a nice quick, quick cook dish. All so. right, so this is the pork tenderloin. I'm going to try this real quick. Oh my god! So you get a nice acidity from the pork, from the uh, from the balsamic with the rich butter sauce. Come there back anytime. It. Hey, always <laughs> my pleasure. This is Matt Betchart from Granite City Food and Brewery. Head on down there. It's right by the West Town Mall, and we'll be right back with more restaurant show after the break. Thanks so much for joining me here today on The Restaurant Show. I hope that when you're out and about looking for a place to eat or at the grocery store, you'll consider any one of these fantastic locally owned businesses. That's all the time we have for today on The Restaurant Show. This is Justin Riley reminding you that life is too short to eat average. We'll see you next time.